Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In today's video, we're going to be talking about pouring concrete floors and getting your own floor poured for yourself. And specifically, my seven tips that'll make sure that your floor pour goes successful and smoothly, just like ours do each day. So real quick, if you don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own the website everythingaboutconcrete.com where I talk about all my experience and all my knowledge of pouring concrete floors. I've been doing it for 39 years. So make sure you go check out the website. And I also own Days Concrete Floors Incorporated. That's the name of my company. And we pour concrete floors and slabs. We do stamp concrete. We do stained concrete. Uh, we do a lot of concrete repair. We do epoxy floors. So if you like concrete, then make sure you subscribe to the channel now and hit the little bell notification. I'm coming out with these kinds of videos, you know, a couple times a week. So let's get right into it. You're going to you want to pour your own concrete floor and but maybe you're not that experienced or maybe you've never done it before. So how how do you go about getting the floor poured successfully without having any trouble? Well, I got some tips for you here. Tip number 1. First thing you got to do is shoot your grades with a laser and so you can figure out how much concrete you're going to need and I'll put a link up there at the top you'll see it pop up to a concrete calculator so once you have your length and, and width of your concrete floor then you can plug those into the calculator with your depth whether it's four inches five inches and that'll figure the concrete for you so you got to shoot your grades figure your concrete that's tip number one and then Tip number two is you got to call in the order to the concrete company you're going to be using at least a week in advance. You got to give them plenty of notice. Um, they're real busy nowadays, and you just can't expect to call them the day before and get concrete when you want it. So, tip number two is when you call it in, you're going to want to know your yardage. You know whether it's five yards, ten yards, fifteen yards. That way they'll know if they need one truck or two trucks or even three trucks, you know, for your job. So get your, get your concrete ordered in a week in advance and you should be good to go. You're going to want to order for a concrete floor like the one we're doing here, a 3,000 3 quarter stone PSI concrete. That's just the basic concrete floor mix. Um, no air, you don't need air in it unless it's exposed to freeze and thaw conditions. And uh, that's, that's what we use every day on our concrete floors. So tip number three, after you call in the order, you're going to want to watch the weather because, you know, if it's outside, like this pour is here, you, you can't take a chance on pouring that if, it, if it's going to rain um, or even if it's going to be showery. I mean, you don't want a five minute rain shower would ruin a concrete floor pour like this if you don't know what you're doing. So it's going to want to be a nice sunny day or even I guess it could be a cloudy day, but no chance of rain. So that's tip number three. Keep watching the weather, and if you have to adjust your schedule based on the weather, then you got to do that. Tip number four, you got to have the right tools. So there's just some basic tools you need to make the pour go nice and smoothly. Uh, like you saw in the beginning of the video, we had a, an extra chute that we hooked onto the concrete chutes. That would be a good tool to have if you can't reach right from the concrete truck. You're going to want a, a straight edge like the one we're using there, a screed. You're going to want those those concrete rakes or concrete come-alongs. Those things we use there to pull the concrete around. And then you're going to want a bull float, which you'll see here in a minute. And then a mag float, like you'll see the guys have hanging off their back pockets. And we use those to mag the edges with it. And then you're going to want a laser, you know, something to shoot your grades with. Make sure the floor is nice and level. So those are the basic tools you're going to need. I'll put a list of them up for you so you'll, you, you can see them. And again, that's, that's tip number four. Have the right tools when you go to pour your concrete floor. Tip number five is you're going to want to have enough help. And hopefully you've got at least one person there that's experienced, you know, that's done this a few times at least and kind of knows what they're doing. If you've never done this before and you don't have any experienced help, and you're trying to pour a floor similar to this one here, boy, I, you know, that's hard for me to say that I recommend doing that because you, it's real easy to mess a concrete floor up if you don't know what you're doing. 
and then you've spent a lot of money invested in concrete and your floor didn't come out that great and you they're hard to fix guys if you don't know what you're doing so hopefully you got at least one person that kind of knows what they're doing and kind of lead everybody else that's tip number five Tip number six is you're going to want to start early in the morning. You, you know, you're not going to want to start pouring a floor like this at, at noontime, at two o'clock in the afternoon. You know, seven o'clock in the morning is when you're going to want to tell the concrete dispatcher you want to start. You want to get, get the floor in, the, in and get the concrete there before the sun comes up and it starts getting too hot out. And then you got all morning and all afternoon for it to dry and you can power trial it. I've got plenty of videos about power trialing you can check out. And also, I've got a bunch of videos about how to screed concrete. You know, if you go to my YouTube channel, Mike Day, Everything About Concrete, you can, you can watch a bunch of videos. i got all kinds of videos of us pouring concrete floors. So you can watch how we screed, watch how we pour these floors, so you can come up with some type of plan of attack. That's tip number six, start early in the morning. Tip number seven is you're going to want to pour the concrete at about a six inch slump and what slump is it, it means it's how dry or how wet the concrete is and a six inch slump is a pretty good workable slump especially for people who aren't that experienced and don't use concrete every day I mean we, we pour concrete every day and that's what we pour what, what I do is when I call the concrete dispatcher I ask him to put in a a water reducer additive and what the water reducer does, it, it allows us to pour a good loose slump, like a six inch slump, even a six and a half inch slump, without adding a bunch of water. And we don't want to add too much water because it'll really weaken the mix and you're more likely to get shrinkage cracks. But with this water reducer, this water reducer really loosens up the concrete, this chemical additive, without adding the water. So the concrete stays nice and strong, but it's a nice loose slump. To pour with so it makes pouring really easy um, if you start pouring the concrete too dry then you're just going to have trouble your, your floor is probably not going to come out that level and you're not going to be happy with it so those are my seven basic tips for concrete floor pouring and those are the tips that i use every day you know when when i first started out if i didn't have the tools i would go rent them um, and then i would just obviously going to be in a business for myself I would buy them as I could afford them but you can rent most of these tools at a tool rental place I know the screeds the bull floats the come alongs the the extra shoot even the laser all that stuff you can rent if you don't have it um, as you can see we're not using a shovel here I wouldn't I wouldn't really recommend using a shovel to pour a concrete floor but you're gonna need those basic tools you could probably even rent a mag float and if you can't rent one they're pretty cheap to buy you can buy them right online matter of fact I think I even I have links for all these tools down in the description guys below so I mean if you if you do need them you can you can definitely buy them but you don't really need to buy them if you're just doing this once you can go ahead and rent them so if you're thinking of pouring a concrete floor let, let's just do a little recap here so number one you know you want to be organized you want after the floor has been graded and prepped you got to figure out how much concrete is going in it. So you got to know your yardage. Number two is you got to call the dispatcher. You got to give them plenty of notice. And uh, number three is you got to you got to watch the weather as your day's coming up. You know the day you got if you got it ordered for a Friday and you call him the Friday before, just that Monday you got to start watching the weather. And if it looks like rain Friday, you may want to move it to Saturday. You may want to move it to the next Monday. But you got to make sure you give him plenty of notice in advance. You just can't call the day before and say, hey, I, I think I'm going to cancel. Look, can I do it Saturday? Because I, I can tell you right now, his Saturday is probably going to be booked up already. And then, like I said, get the right tools. Have enough help. You know, as you can see, there's four of us here pouring that floor. All four of us are really experienced, so it's pretty easy. Actually, you know, two of us really experienced that do it every day could pour a floor like this pretty easy but if you're not real experienced you're going to want probably four people at least maybe even five just the more the better it's going to make it a little easier and like i said try to find one person that's that's experienced um, even if you got to pay them to come help you know find somebody that's experienced you'll you'll be glad you did 
And then number six was start early in the morning, start when it's cool in the morning. Uh, the concrete's gonna be cool. You're probably not gonna get hot concrete. It's gonna get nice fresh concrete. And then number seven, pour with a good workable slump. Tr shoot for about a six inch slump. You should be happy with that. And that's it guys. Those are my seven basic tips. So you can have a successful concrete floor pour. Any comments guys, just leave me a question in the comments. I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching.